From here, and welcome to my new LP of Banjo Kazooie. The it's probably one of the most iconic games from my childhood, and I love it to death. Oh my god! The 1998 Nintendo and Rare game by Rareware. Oh, Rareware, I miss you. Of course, then of course the big bad corporation Microsoft had to come along and ruin you for good. But of course, this was Banjo back in his glory days. All three, four of his good games before that abomination that shall not be named came along. Um, uh, I should probably uh, start the game soon here, so we don't get too into the little intro here. Okay, I'll go ahead and start it. <clears throat> so yeah, I had a lot of it. This is the actual uh, N64 version of the game. The way it should be, as we can see here. I mean, my N64 is still functional, but it's also very dysfunctional, if you know what I mean. As in, it doesn't function very well at all. So yeah, uh, this is going to be my file for the game. I already started up, played around a bit, tested a few things. It looks good to go. Yeah, and here we can see the different save files. Banjo is doing something in each one. And this one, he's playing on a Game Boy. Made by Nintendo! Which is where he should have stayed! In case you couldn't tell, I hate what Microsoft did to Banjo. They they freaking killed Banjo. Luckily we've got Ukulele coming out sometime down the road by Platonic, who will hopefully carry on the legacy of Banjo properly. Okay, I've ranted long enough. I love this game. You guys know the drill. Let's go ahead and get this party started! Any day, she really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Ooh, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that. Running down the stairs is hard because I'm fat. Bruntilda always has to rhyme. So yeah, and here we can see Tootie going over. Ah, uh, Spiral Mountain, how I love you. It's such a nostalgic location. And somebody left a pile of dog poop on the lawn. Oh wait, no, it's just bottles. Hey there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! Go on an adventure too. <laughs> With 
Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks, and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him! Up there in the sky! I don't think so! Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty! You'll soon be ugly! What a pity! Let me go, you ugly old hag! Don't scratch and bite, my little bear! You'll soon need bigger underwear! Oh no! She's got her! Somebody! Help! Banjo, wake up! Now! Oh, what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! <laughs> I love that little detail at the end. All right, so here we go! Starting our journey, we can use the control stick to move Banjo. You see there, we got some life in the upper corner. This pause menu. We can see view totals. We have all those things on the right are basically things we have to collect. This game is a collect-a-thon. The original 3D platformer collect-a-thon. Before it was put to death by Microsoft. So, yeah. And we can jump. Barely. Barely! Oh! And that is it. That is all we can do right now. So, let's go on ahead and... WHO LET THE PILE OF DOG POOP ON MY LAWN?! Oh. I didn't know you lived in dog poop. Listen up! I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy! What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gratilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her! Calm down, Geeky! We'll get her back! Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. You can also tap the A button to uh, uh, speed up the dialogue. So we can uh, te have bottles teach us, or B if we think we're already good enough. I think I can explain a lot faster than he can, so I'm going to say we're already good enough for this. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. You do miss out on some pretty, very funny dialogue if you miss this. Pretty, very funny. Wonderful words. So now, he gives us access to our basic moves. And anytime we want to talk to Bottles, we can press B at any molehills that we see. You said you didn't need my help, so you're on your own until you get inside. I'm still not helping you, so go away. This isn't funny now. Stop calling me. This is your last warning. Don't do it again. Let's do it again. You've asked for this. I'm erasing your game pack. Three, two, one. No, we're sorry, Bottles. We won't do it again. Okay, let's get on with rescuing Tootie then, shall we? Okay. Stop wasting time, Banjo. Tootie needs rescue. Okay, all right. <laughs> I goofed around enough. So, yeah. That is one of the two times in this game that your game pack will be threatened to be erased. And to be fair, I'd like to see if we can try to erase it. So if we want, Bob, we can talk to these molehills and Bottles will... Tell us to stop wasting time. Okay, well, I will explain the basic controls. You can use the uh, C buttons to zoom in and control the camera. C buttons control the camera. You can press the up C button to go into first person view. And also, if you tap R, the camera will move behind Banjo. And you can hold R to keep it behind Banjo when you're, even when you're doing anything. Here's where you learn some jumping techniques. You can now jump much higher than you could originally at the start. Press A in midair, and you'll do a double jump with Kazooie helping you out. And here we have the flat flip jump. 
which propels us even higher. Uh, that right there is an extra honeycomb piece. We collect six of them, and we can upgrade the energy bar, uh, adding one hit to us. Now, we have an enemy here. This is Topper. If we press the B button while not... As I was trying to say, uh, that there was sticky energy that replenishes our energy. As I was saying, if we press the B button while moving slowly or not moving at all, we will do the claw swipe attack. You will never use this attack in the game except in the tutorials. Because it's terrible and all around has pathetic range. However, there is also the forward roll attack, which I've tested out on the ball here. B-A-W-L. Um, that makes it so you uh, move while attacking, and it's a lot better, but not the most powerful attack we have in our arsenal. No, we'll get into some of those in a minute. Um, here we can swim underwater, we can press A to use Banjo to kick his feet to swim slowly and accurately, and Kazooie can use her wings to swim more quickly and less accurately. Also, that little energy bar on the side is our air meter. When it runs out, we die. The little uh, blue number next to our uh, character icons is our life counter. Every time we run out of energy or run out of air, we lose a life. And we lose... If we run out of lives, the game ends. And we lose. So yeah, I'm gonna go over here and show another thing. Not only is there an extra honeycomb piece here, but as you can see, look behind the waterfall, it looks like there's a trophy of sorts. If we can get back there, an extra life! Look out for me! I'm an extra life! Yes! That's another thing. Every single thing that you pick up in this game talks. Get used to it. Now uh, we can see that there is a another thing that we can climb up over here. There's another honeycomb piece at the top. Oh yes, climbing. Banjo will automatically climb, uh, jump onto and climb certain objects. We're almost ready to go to Gruntilda's Lair. Just a few more things. Um, here we have... Uh, enemies called quarries. Uh, we can use the beak barge attack to break them. Press hold Z and then press B. Uh, this will basically move you forward. This is, uh, one of the stronger attacks you have in your arsenal. Claw swipe is the weakest. Never use it. Uh, forward roll is medium powered. And any attack with uh, Kazooie being at the beak barge or something else we're about to learn is the most powerful that we can use normally. As I was saying, also, we have the Rat's Hat Rap, which is our jump attack. And with that, we have completed another energy thing. So yes, we already have an extra hit before we go into the lair, which is very good to have. I all, I should suggest that you mess around outside the lair before you actually go into the lair, so you will have an extra hit if you're lacking confidence. You can still get those, um, bleh. You can still get energy, um... Crap, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, you can still find extra honeycomb pieces later in the game, but there are six out here automatically, so it's easier if you grab it now. You don't need to. I mean, if, if you want to give yourself more of a challenge, you could start with only five units, but really, the first few stages are so easy, you won't need to worry about that. Okay, so we're finally ready to go to Gruntilda's Lair. If we walk up Spiral Mountain, I love this. I love this entire area, and the music fits it perfectly. You're going to hear me gush about this guy a lot throughout the game, but Grant Kirkcope is the uh, chief chief music producer behind this game, and oh my god, does he deliver. He is the mu music maker from my childhood. I, I can't say enough good things about the music throughout the game, so let's just leave it at that. Also, the scenery is beautiful. I love everything about this game. It really just fills you with nostalgia. Okay, well, I've gushed on about nostalgic things long enough. Let's talk to Bob. So you're ready to tackle the witch now? We sure are! Show us the way, Battle Boy! Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck! Alright, now, if we take a look, this is Gruntilda's lair. Shaped like her head. Boy, is she an egomaniac. Uh, also, another thing. The little, uh, 
discolorations in the stone on the face there. I never realized it until just a few days ago. Those are actually supposed to be her pupil, or her, the whites of her eyes. The greens are supposed to be her pupils. I just thought that the green gem things were her eyes the entire time, and I just couldn't afford more budget. But no. <laughs> I can't believe it looks more like her character face than I originally thought it did as a kid for the longest time. So, without any further ado, let's go. Get used to hearing music like this. Not this song in particular, no. But definitely music like this. Alright, and now, we shall get eaten by a witch! <laughs> This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and toothy old! Let me go, you fat hag! My brother will come and kick your butt! Rescue you? He will not dare! There are many dangers in my lair! Hurry, Klungo! Push that switch! I'm tired of being an ugly witch! Yes! Is that the power of Zombie Ray? Banjo! No! <laughs> and I need to clean up all my slime. There he is! The fun begins! My tricks and traps will see who wins! <laughs> Alright! So, now we're finally exploring Gruntilda's lair. Now, take a moment to listen to the music. I think that's long enough. Sorry about that. This music, you will be hearing it a lot. That is why many people love this song, me included. And it's just a song that you can never really get tired of hearing. It's very iconic. The melody is... You hear it a lot. And now, uh, we can see here that there's a bit of a thing here that we saw while we were looking around. If we go up to it... Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. With that, we now have one jigsaw piece, golden jigsaw piece, mind you, commonly referred to by uh, Banjo Kazooie lore as a jiggy. Um, we will be needing these. These are basically the like stars in Super Mario 64. That we collect them. They're golden, shiny, and they open new worlds for us. Very handy to have. We will be needing a lot of them, by the way. This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw picture with an image of this area on it. Have a look around. It can't be far away. Uh, Grunty admits she's a hog. I really need a big hot dog. Yes, every now and then Gruntilda will pop out of nowhere and say something. A funny rhyme. <laughs> and some of these are actually, some of them are actually pretty funny. That's why Gruntilda is probably my favorite video game villain of all time. Right next to Eggman, really. Alright. And we finally found the picture. That was really hard. So, we can stand on the podium in order to place pieces. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great to fill in the missing spaces on a picture. Press A if you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces. Press B to leave. Well, not much else we can do. Let us press 
the A button! You can't see it, but I'm holding my hands up dramatically and pointing downward as I'm about to press the button. And press. <laughs> That's it! The picture is complete, and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open! That was such an easy fit! The others may just test your wit! <laughs> Next time on Banjo Kazooie, we will go to Mumbo's Mountain! See you guys next time! Laters!